There's no other fair in the world or other art meeting point that has this geographic diversity and also in a great sort of quality of work that stretches from the 1920s, paintings uh, created in Tunis and Damascus in the early uh, 20th century, right through to today's artists. So it's uh, this tremendous uh, diversity on offer and a very kind of highly curated, selective kind of process as well that brings out the quality as well as the quantity. So no, we've been absolutely delighted with the response. We think 90% of the galleries have already begun selling and selling well. And this is perhaps in contrast to other art world meeting points at the moment where business is perhaps a little slower. At that time, I think our society was under different pressures in terms of sanctions and many things, and you could um, you could see those pressures into people's daily life and behavior, you know. And also, I could find it inside myself, you know. I was angry, you know, in my daily lives, and I just wanted to reflect it and that was a relief for me when I made them and it made me more calm and comfortable. Yeah. واحدة من الأشياء اللي معقات لأننا كفنانين فلسطينيين عايشين داخل الأرض المحتلة إنه إحنا زي ما بيحكوا بالعربي اللي بيرقص بالعتمة صعب إحنا نروح نشوف شو الفنانين حول العالم والعرب بالذات شو عم بيشتغلوا وصعب الفنانين بالعالم والأرت كريتيك والناس بيشتغلوا بالمجال الفني يشوفوا الفن الفلسطيني اللي ينتج داخل الأرض المحتلة بسبب صعوبة التواصل بين داخل والخارج وهذا الإشي الحلو بأرت دبي إنه بيعطينا بلاتفورم نجي نشوف وين الناس صارت شو بتشتغل ونفرج للناس شغلنا ونسمع فيدباك فهو بلاتفورم للانتراكشن زي اللي بيعمل ابديت للسيستم تاعه